Oh, they look so Whoop. beautiful. Bit of parmigiano. Oh my God, does that smell good? Deep flavor. You want to smell that? <laughs> Welcome to this episode of Beyond the Plate, brought to you by Lightspeed, featured on Canada's 100 Best. Today, I am talking to revered chef Stephen Leslie of Tavern on the Square, located in Montreal's Westmount Village. We will have a tete-a-tete and check in and see how he is doing during this most difficult and challenging time. As well, I will go into the kitchen and prepare two authentic Italian dishes. You don't want to miss this. It will be nothing less than scrumptious. Heidi. Can you tell me a little bit about who you are and where are we right now? My name is Stephen Leslie. I am the chef owner of Tavern on the Square. We are in this restaurant and I'm one of the owners at uh, Monkland Tavern. And this is going to be uh, our 20th year come, uh, come June. Pre-pandemic, describe the energy and vibe in this dining room. Wow, okay, pre-pandemic. Uh, busy, bustling place, people come in. Everything is kind of a spur of the moment. So-and-so's coming, he loves lobster, he loves caviar. Okay, very spontaneous cooking and I miss that a lot. We're hoping, like last year, we got permission to put up a big outdoor space. So we're hoping the same thing uh, once the government opens up to 50% dining or whatever capacity they're going to allow. Because outdoor dining, I think, you know, that will help us get through the winter of 2021. And hopefully by then we're vaccinated and we can move on. What have you learned about yourself? And how has that changed the way you lead your kitchen? Oh boy, yeah, this has been a tough year. They don't teach about this in cooking school. I've learned I still love to cook. I like to get in the kitchen and I'll be doing this when I'm in my 70s for sure. I'm not going anywhere. Tell me, chef, what are we making today? Uh, I have two passes for you. One is uh, orecchietti with sausage and lobster. The other is a, a ragu made with Quebec lagu beef. And that's gonna be with strut separati. Now I just try to you know, maybe introduce a few things that we wouldn't normally have time to do. We, were gonna, we make some hand rolled pastas now, so try and keep the inspiration up. It's not easy. The customers are the most important, that interaction, that energy, and it's gone. How has technology helped you during this most difficult time? What if this happened 25 years ago? Good God, how difficult it would be. Certainly technology now, how, you know, our light speed has been able to plug into all the apps and within 10 minutes, change the, the item, change the price, change the picture. I'm not really a tech guy, but I understand that, you know, without this technology, how much more difficult change would be. Very grateful for that. Smells good. Cheers. Long reach over there. The orchietti with the sausage and the lobster. Mm. Wow. It's I feel, so good. I feel like it's civilized again. I can you know? cry. <laughs> what have you learned about your customers throughout this last year? Well, customers, it's been very touching. A lot of them have come forth with a lot of help. Um, yeah, it's very touching. There are, uh, you know, I've had people say, you're not, we won't let you go bankrupt. No matter what it takes, we'll be there for you. I mean, just stuff like that. It's just, you know, to hear that uh, really makes me feel good inside. When you're a neighborhood restaurant, it's beyond community, it's neighborhood. It's you are some customer's dining room. This is a, yeah, this is a living room for many of our customers, you know. We know them well and they, uh, we miss them as well. Like I said, without them, it's just a shell. I mean, it's still nice to look at, but without their dynamic, it's just, you know, obviously not the same, so. The fact that you carved out today for me, for us, I am very, very grateful. It's been my pleasure, Heidi. Thank you.